You might be wondering, is whole grain cereal good for weight loss? I've got the startling answer in this video. First, we're gonna go through the history of grains and how they've evolved over the last few decades. And then we'll talk about if whole grain cereal is good for weight loss. And last, we'll talk about how whole grain cereal fits into the Code Red lifestyle. Let's go through the history of grains because if you've watched my other videos, you know how I feel about grains, but let's get everybody on the same page here. The grains that we are dealing with nowadays, they're not the same grains as when Jesus was walking the planet or even when your grandparents were coming up. They have evolved so drastically over the last several decades and the last couple hundred years. And I'm not demonizing grains. I wanna make that very clear to you. In fact, our society would not be advanced to where it is today if it weren't for grains, if it weren't for the invention or the discovery of how to bring grains along with you. See, the fact that we can bring that we can harvest grain and make things out of it, that's what enabled us to now have portable food. We were able to colonize other parts of the United States and other parts of the world because we now have a food that we can bring with us to feed our animals and our families. It was good intentions. It was, it was a smart idea back in the day. And back in the day, grains weren't bad. But nowadays, we've become greedy, in my opinion. We have now crossbred our grains and hybridized our grains to where we are now producing the most grain per stock because farmers want to get the most bang for their buck. Also, our government subsidizes grain farmers. So we are now producing enough grain for 10 billion people on this planet. And now they're putting grains in everything because it's a cheap filler. We not only have grains in our food, but we have grains in our shampoo, grains in our makeup, grains in our supplements. We have them everywhere. So now we become so overly exposed to grain that our bodies are now turning against grain and wheat and gluten and producing these antibodies because they're seeing it as the enemy. So back in the day, we didn't have an adverse reaction to wheat and to grains. But now, even kids, we're seeing a huge epidemic of kids that are now having autoimmune disorders and reactions to grains. We have them developing IBS and, and developing eczema and different reactions to these grains, even as early as five years old. It attacks the neuro tree, so you could be, you could, see it show up as a migraine headache or IBS or a pain in your finger or blurred vision or fatigue. It's really amazing the way that grains manifest themselves in our bodies and hurt us in so many different ways. So now we're talking about whole grain cereal. I actually have an example here for you that I found in the cupboard here at the location where we are filming this video. And it actually says, whole grain cereal on the box. All right, so we're looking at the front of the box here, which the front of the box is always the most valuable real estate. And I'm not dogging on this brand. I'm just, they all do the same freaking thing. But you're talking about, they say non-GMO. And then they say, you know, USDA organic and healthy whole grains. Well, there's nothing healthy and there's nothing whole about the grains. And why is that? Because we have bastardized our grains over the years. We're growing grains in deficient soil. So we now have grains that will spike our blood sugar faster than a Snickers bar. If you look at this with three days worth of carbs, not even a whole cup. And I can promise you, by the way, if you're actually pouring this up for cereal, nobody's going to have one serving size. You're going to go like this, like we all used to when we were kids, right? You pour it in and then it's nice and, you know, and the top is rounded. Then you add your milk and it goes to the top. Double that for the amount that you're consuming. So why is this a problem? Because when you consume whole grain cereal, with this amount of carbs in it, which pretty much all of them, grape nuts, all of those kind of whole grain cereals, when you consume that from the neck down, your body just sees it as pure sugar. That's what it does. It turns into pure sugar as soon as you swallow it. So it's gonna cause your blood sugar to go up. Your pancreas is now gonna have to secrete insulin to bring your blood sugar down so you don't die. What is insulin? The fat producing hormone. So we need 
Insulin, it's a vital hormone. You can't live without it, but you only need a very small amount for a very short amount of time. And whole grain cereal is gonna spike your blood sugar super high, and then it's gonna take a long time to come back down. I don't care as much about the, the blood sugar being spiked high, that's one thing, but I'm not as concerned with that as the fact that it's gonna take a long time for your blood sugar to come back down. So you can't burn fat. You're gonna have that high blood sugar for a long time. Well, come on, who doesn't wanna burn fat? We all wanna burn a little bit of fat. So that's okay that your blood sugar spikes, but we want it to come back down pretty quick so you can get back into that fat burning zone, right? It's gonna be very difficult to get back into a fat burning zone when you are having whole grain cereal. So before I go to my next point, I wanna hear from you. I am so curious, I'm smiling because I'm like, ooh, what are they gonna say? Comment below and tell me, what was your impression or what is your impression of whole grain cereal? Were you brainwashed to believe that it's healthy? Were you brainwashed to believe that it, it does your body good and that it, it's good for your heart? Comment below, I wanna hear from you. Another thing that whole grain cereal does is it causes inflammation in our bodies. Anytime I consume grains, I can get away with a very small amount, but anytime I consume grains, you know what happens? My old injuries start hurting again. Like I have this injury, I had some kids come over to my house and I was throwing one of the kids in the pool one time and I tore my gluteus medius muscle and I had to do platelet replacement therapy and I healed it, but if I have grains, like whole grain cereal. My old injuries start hurting again. I, I had an old injury in my latissimus dorsi from a water skiing accident, and that starts hurting again. My body starts hurting. Your knees start hurting, your hands start hurting, and you might be thinking to yourself, oh, this old body, this old body is getting old. No, 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 it doesn't have to be that way. You don't have to deal with pain. You don't have to go through that just because this old body is getting old. I have watched many people in their 60s, 70s, 80s that don't have pain in their body when they get off whole grain cereal. They don't have to deal with that anymore. The problem with whole grain cereal or grains in general is they are devoid of nutrition. They are nutritionally empty. They are packed full of calories. They'll trigger more hunger. I mean, you ever find that you have something with grains in it, especially whole grain cereal, and you're hungry pretty quick after that? Yeah, it doesn't have any staying power. You might be thinking, well, it's got some fiber in it, Christy, that's healthy. I'm looking here at six grams of fiber compared to 42 grams of carbs. Even when you subtract the fiber from the carbs, you're still left with a massive amount of carbs. There's not enough usable fiber in whole grain cereal to undo the damage that that amount of carbs is causing in your body. Look, I have had my fair share of experience with whole grain cereal. I mean, I used to think that grape nuts were healthy. I used to think that those kind of organic, anything I bought at Whole Foods was healthy. I used to be on that bandwagon. I get what you're thinking. And some of my older clients really have a hard time letting go of this concept because we were brainwashed to believe the old 1984 food pyramid or the 1990 food pyramid that it said, you need nine to 11 servings of grain a day. And we were brainwashed to believe that grains are healthy. But yet, as soon as we started implementing those bull crap guidelines, our obesity rate went through the roof, our metabolic syndrome went through the roof, our coronary artery disease went through the roof, heart attacks, high blood pressure, diabetes, bam, 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 through the roof. In my opinion, the food pyramid is the biggest disaster in US history, but I digress. I mean, I was vegan from September 07, to September 08. I tried it for one full year, just as an experiment. And when you're vegan, when you remove all animal products from your diet, you rely so heavily on grains and so heavily on processed food. And as long as it says vegan, no animal products involved, which by the way, was not the way we were created as a human species to eat. But that's a different video for a different day. And let me tell you, during that entire year that I was vegan, I had to eat so many grains that I felt rotten all the time. My IBS came back, I had brain fog, I had headaches, I felt like absolute garbage. And I fought one of my biggest fights at Madison Square Garden in March of 2008, and I lost that fight. And I'm not saying I lost that fight because I was vegan. I'm saying that I was so tired that I was falling asleep on my dressing room floor 
when the ring guys came to get me for my fight. One of my biggest fights in history and I was falling asleep. Does that make sense to you? I didn't feel good when I was vegan and I'm 100% convinced it's because the huge amount of grains that I was having in my diet and all of the whole grain cereal that I consumed every single day. So how does whole grain cereal fit into the Code Red lifestyle? I think by now, if you stuck with me this long, you can, you know that we, I know, I take you off all grains for Code Red. They have no spot in the Code Red lifestyle. If you really wanna get healthy, get off loads of medication and lose weight, you've got to get off grains. And I have vegans and vegetarians that come to me and say, well, can I do Code Red? Cause I'm vegan, I'm vegetarian. And I say, sure but you don't get to supplement in, in grains back into your diet just because there are fewer things on the eat side that you can eat. You still have to avoid grains. That's one of the biggest reasons why vegans and vegetarians, vegans mostly, are so sick and overweight and metabolically sick. I personally have never met a healthy vegan. I realize that that comment is probably gonna get me some nasty uh, hate mail. I don't care. I've never met a healthy vegan before because they're relying so heavily on grains and it's tearing up your health and beating up your digestive system and metabolically breaking you down. So that's why I take people off all grains. We do not allow grains on the Code Red lifestyle. I do not allow whole grain cereal. None of that stuff. Look, what do we eat? We eat real food. Meat, vegetables, nuts, eggs, seeds, seafoods, and fat. We drink water and we sleep. That's the proper human diet. You can learn more about the proper human diet on our 10 pound takedown challenge. I have them every month. I'll link it up below. Click on the link. I'll see you in the next video.